Hi, so hello everyone. So the purpose of this short video is to explain the process of how to install the BiblioShiny app. So those who are new, so before we will start, it's important to install R. It's also important to install R Studio. And once you will start R Studio, you need to start new script. Those who are new to start new script, you can simply click on plus and click on R script. Once the one script, this particular script is open, so you need to execute few basic commands in R. So hash is used to make any particular line comments. Once any particular line becomes comments, then this particular line will not execute it by the R programming language. The first thing or the first step, whenever you want to start BiblioShiny app to perform bibliometric analysis, is to install the bibliometrics package. And the command is install dot packages and in double inverted comma you need to write the name of that particular packet so just select that particular line and click on run Correct. so once the installation of package will take place okay and the next step is is to load that particular library into r so again execute that particular line now it has been loaded now the third step is to call the biblioshiny function and this particular function will start the biblioshiny app so again i have selected that particular line and click on run option now you will see that uh, as soon as you will execute that particular command uh, this particular screen will open so what type of a screen you will see that i will discuss in next video so three steps you people need to do the first important thing that we need to is to install the package and the name of the package is bibliometrics second important thing is we need to execute library function and third to start that app we need to execute the biblioshiny app so as soon as you will execute all these three lines those who are first timers your biblioshiny app will start it automatically one more thing i would like to explain here that installation of packages need to do only once upon a time means when 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 first time you are using you need to execute that first line now next time onwards you need to execute these two commands that is library command and biblioshiny app so you need not to execute this particular line again and again this line you need to execute only once upon a time so i hope that process is clear to you in next video i will talk that what type of screen you will get after executing that biblioshiny function and then we will see further how to perform the basic analysis or basic bibliometric analysis thank you so much